It is take two for the city council. Last week's meeting was canceled when protesters stormed the mayor's office. Right now, city councilors are holding a special meeting and the protesters are back. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live outside of City Hall with more. Gabby? Some of those protesters who were arrested last week, now calling themselves the Berkey 13, are actually here standing behind me across the street from Civic Plaza since they're not allowed on the property here, and that includes the city council meeting. So we thought it was important to let them know that they might ban us from the property, but we are not going away. For the 13 that's locked up, there's 30 more here to take their, body, to take their place. Several people here say they want to see major changes in the Albuquerque Police Department, and those arrested say being banned from the whole building is a violation of their freedom of speech. Last week's meeting was canceled before it even started because the city says it was worried about public safety. People organized a sit-in in Mayor Richard Berry's office, demanding to speak with him about reforms within the police department. The mayor was out of town. Others called for the firing of APD's police chief, Gordon Eden. In the end, 13 people were arrested. 12 12 facing criminal trespass charges and a UNM professor charged with felony battery on a police officer. City councilors say last week's agenda items will be discussed tonight and that includes a vote on whether to adopt new rules at city council meetings to try and keep the peace. I mean we've given the public some flexibility where they could bring in their signs, they could stand there next to the speaker, but it's become problematic where it's become a distraction and I think it's really hurting the decorum of the council and we're not able to conduct business. Now, some of those new rules could mean that no signs are allowed or props during council meetings and only one person is allowed to address council at a time. Back to you. Okay, Gabrielle, at tonight's meeting, people can comment on agenda items only, but there will be no general public comment. We'll tell you if that happened tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10. KRQE News 13 has obtained cell phone video of the arrest of a UNM professor during last week's sit-in that forced the city council meeting to be rescheduled. That video goes on to show protester David Correa in a struggle with an officer as that officer escorts him out of City Hall. Correa has been charged with suspicion of battery on a police officer for allegedly shoving the officer in the chest. Now, we spoke with Correa's attorney today about that video. He says he does not see the violation that Correa is charged with. I didn't see any battery on an officer. Um, I didn't see the officer identifying himself. I didn't see the officer falling backwards. Whoever wants to look at the video can look at it and reach their own conclusions. Last week, a Metro Court judge banned Correa from City Hall because of that incident. He has pleaded not guilty and is now free on bond. We did contact APD about this cell phone video. They did not want to comment, but in an email said Correa's case is now at the DA's office for review. Along with Correa, a dozen other protesters were also arrested for last week's sit-in.